Right. Uh, hello. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> it's wet. Um, we are now going to Red Method. Red Method is in Colchester. We live in Folkestone. It's two hours. Uh, I've been at work today already and walked 11 miles, 12 miles. So I'm quite tired. Ruby slept today. <laughs> oh <dear>. <laughs> <laughs> um, we haven't got a hotel book. None of the guys do. Uh, Joe's gone missing and Bartek just made the coach. Ricky and Aston are en route as well. And um, yeah, we're going to be staying in the car. So we're going to be kitting the car out now and uh, hopefully it starts. I bought one of these. So uh, I bought that to race Ricky. Uh, we were going to do this uh, trip to Scotland and it never happened because both of our cars are terrible. And uh, yeah, so I got this and it's still, we still haven't actually done it. Um, ooh, good start, good start. Eh? As you can see, the uh, <laughs> gas struts are doing their job. Um, yeah, I've got to get rid of that amp, the base amp in there. But um, yeah, so I'll give you some sort of car tour at some point. Um, yeah, little 300. Not bad though, right? Not bad. Yeah, this right here is my daily driver. Um, it's not the best at starting. Let's see if it starts. Mm. Haven't driven it in a while, have you? Nope. <laughs> I, w I wasn't worried at all. <laughs> Yay! Right, right, one second. Better pull the handbrake off, eh? Oh. So, there we go. I'm more impressed that the car actually started after, what, a few weeks of not being used. Um, we got it to do this race with Ricky to Scotland. Him and the Jag and me and the Chrysler. It's like U US versus uh, UK. And... Uh, Admittedly, I already like Ricky's car more than mine, but I was going to have to pretend that I like this more, but, you know, either way, either way, um, we're getting there. So, this is uh, our new home. <laughs> uh, we got the mattress in there, now we got rid of the base amp, and uh, yeah, we're going to be living in there. We've got our vodka, essential, essential supplies, <laughs> and uh, yeah. A Chrysler 300. It's on room for the night. But it starts. But it starts. Yeah. Fluke. Yeah, fluke. <laughs> so, where are we going? We are going to Colchester. Woo! We can't actually get it. So what, what Ruby is actually doing <laughs> is looking for her phone that she lost down the crack. <laughs> it fell down the crevice. <laughs> right. <sighs> Let's try this again. That's petrol. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <sighs> Hello. <laughs> Bill's already done with my shit and we haven't even left Folkestone. I just say, <laughs> buy money, <laughs> that poor card. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, no time like the present, we'll, we'll tell you what's going on today. Uh, Quinton is leaving the band, the guy with the mask, he's leaving the band, it's his final gig. Yeah. So uh, we're trying to bring everyone to go. Uh, me and Ken, the roadie that you see, my twin, he, he, he's going to be in, you know, we was at our first Red Method show together, we'll be at our last Red Method show together, and barely any of the guys that we started with in that band are still in the band. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be emotional, I'm sure we're both crying. Uh, yeah, we love him, you know, he wrote some of the music that literally saved us both, and uh, Ken now pretty much works for Red Method, and, you know, we're, we're mates, you know, we're all mates, and uh, it's going to be a tough show. Yeah. It's going to be a very, very tough show. I'm glad we get to be there for his last show. Yeah. Because it would suck to miss that. Yeah. Yeah. New album coming out soon, and he's written it and not going to be playing it live. <laughs> That's horrible, isn't it? Absolutely horrible. But I'm sure he'll be back. 
I'm sure he'll be back. Ruby's just realising how much <laughs> the car drink. Ouch. <laughs> how much does your car drink? A full tank on, in my car, to be fair, is about 70 quid. Yeah, but this is like, normally it's about 120 quid. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. Can't find the hole. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Bargain. Fuck that. Petrol is just such a waste of money, isn't it? Well, it feels like it is. It's not, but it's one of those things that's just like, ugh, worst way to spend money ever. But yeah, anyway. I've got energy drinks and vodka down here by my feet. For once, I'll be the one who gets to get drunk in the car. And Bill can sit there, be sober. So sweet. But yeah, can't wait. Can't wait for tonight. See you soon. I wish I could zoom on this thing. <laughs> He's so hot. <laughs> oh, that's my man. He's so fucking handsome. <laughs> oh, I probably can't even see him on this stupid thing, but oh, love him. Fucking love that guy. Just making myself a little journey drink. I'm not gonna drink it straight like Billy does, because he is the devil. Um, I'm just mixing it up in my little bottle with some, I've got lychee juice and I've got energy drink. I might have the lychee, I love lychee. So yeah, my little journey drink. Bill's gonna be like, well, I want one. Well, you can't, sucker. Got my little lychee juice to put in my vodka. Love this. So that's my balanced diet. That's all I've had to eat today. Uh, Cadbury's cream egg. <laughs> How do you eat yours? <laughs> Very healthy. Well, we're just starting to realise how far away Colchester was from our house. <laughs> We've been driving for quite a while. We hit every part of water, every part of traffic, and uh, yeah, we're we're slowly getting somewhere, aren't we? Yeah. We're slowly getting somewhere. We're nearly there. We're about half an hour away. So. We're now in Colchester. Um, we've made it. We're about to see what the deal is. Um, this is our bed for the night. Um, that's our bed. So that's all set up now. Uh, Ruby's pouring us some booze in the front seat. Say hello, Princess. Hello. <laughs> knock off Red Bull. Knock poor. off Red Bull. <laughs> knock off. <laughs> <laughs> and sponsored cheap Glenn's vodka because we're them sort of people. It's not even Glenn's, it's just vodka. Oh. Unbranded. <laughs> a Bartek special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're about to get to the, our skates on and head to this venue. We're going to party on. Luke, enough and a drink. Whoop. He says as he falls over. No one saw that. Anyway, oh. um, everyone's at the gig other than us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Aston's just sent us one of the best videos of a wall of death I've ever seen because there was three people in it. <laughs> but <laughs> like, <laughs> I wish I was there. And now we're going to what's the venue called? The Three Monkeys or something. The Three Wise Monkeys. Oh yeah, I I just made that up. Is that actually what it is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it... <laughs> is it really? Yeah. I've done no research into this place. I didn't know until uh, today that there's a castle here. So over there, that might not even be it, but there's something cool that caught my eye. Oh, these stupid towns with their castles. Don't get that in Croydon. <laughs> doctor Chippies. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he is a real doctor. My money is on probably not. <laughs> He's probably a doctor in the way that Tom is a doctor, because he has a PhD in wine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so we're just saying Silk Road. To me, it means something very different. Um, some of you will understand what I'm on about. Some of you, most of you, I really hope, will have no clue. Yeah, but some of you, there. and we're bros. <laughs> this is chaotic. So, <laughs> sorry, everyone. We're not, I'm not good at directions at the best of times, let alone Ruby somewhere now. like this in the dark and the rain. So, yeah. Well, say, so what do you reckon they sell? Why 
is everything so narrow? I feel like I'm in some like medieval market town. <laughs> this is like Dill. Yeah. I don't know anything about this place. Yeah. I, I'm glad that we did absolutely no research at all before Honestly. booking the gig one day ago. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. We just one day. Fuck yeah. It. Fuck it all. So in, in a coffee shop, we have something that is going on over there. Oh, they're dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How cool is that? It's nice. it's like football, right, I love that stuff. I think that's really cool. That's sweet. Right, I know it's pitch black, but there's a brewery right here. Other Monkey Brewing. Like, I'm already feeling like I'm missing out. <laughs> Why do we turn up so late? Stupid work getting in the way. No, we didn't even get in the venue this time. And then... <laughs> Mama. No. Right. Long time. Long time. All right. All right. Yes. Yeah, we have really? made it too. Whatever the fuck this thing is. And police sirens make me feel at home. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? Rain has damaged my legs. <laughs> and we've missed the bloodstock himself. <laughs> Well, it looks kind of like where we live. Oh, you found a smoky area. Well, we found a fucking smoky area. Look at this. Okay, right, we have we're, we're trying to find a fucking venue. <laughs> well, good afternoon. <laughs> we're, we're trying to find a venue and we're still not there. We lost Bartek. We lost fucking everybody. Is that still the GoPro? Yeah. Hello, Mr. GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> We got a backup, we got a backup. <laughs> we instantly lost the camera to this guy. Actually recording? Yeah. Does it record sound? Yeah. <laughs> you know what channel you're running? Oh, uh, 85. 85. Yeah. <laughs> That's our voice. <laughs> Sign up to this channel, subscribe, or someone might go down and finger your cat. Be lucky. Well, there's a glass down there somewhere. And that one, that one dropped it. <laughs> right, so we're actually going to go into this gig. We probably missed all the bands already. Here we got outside. Oi, that's one of mine. Oi. You're, you're looking at me through bars, Ricky. You're looking at me through bars. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm good, good by myself. Introductions take a little while, Barlock, because there's so many of us. So, Mrs. Bloodstock, right here. We got Laura. Mr. Thing. It makes me sad. Like, it makes me sad. This is like the end, kind of. I, like, you two are the best uh, fucking duet I've ever seen since what? Since Keith Harris and Orville. Well, and Leo Sunders and Kate. Down. <laughs> <laughs> Harry and Megan. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, one of our people, what was it, oh, yeah. Heather Quinton said that it was three floors up. Yeah, and I said, you're talking bollocks. Yeah, she yeah. said, she <laughs> said, she said, Heather said, prepare to walk up three flights of stairs. You won't lie, Heather. And look, and there's another what? bar and another kitchen and another bunch of normal cunts in there. Apparently we've got access to the green room as well. Oh, well, I, I do like green. We all like green. Yeah, Bartek does now, apparently. <laughs> From where? Oh, toilets are in there, off the car. Oh, I'm going, hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's why we keep the talent. <laughs> 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 <That's> why we keep the talent. In the talent? When, when you watch that back, that's going to be well funny. <laughs> hey, please! <Bye. laughs> right, we're going to check the rest of the menu out there.
future. So, this is part of Vip Billy's vlog where I take over. And um, I know you guys like the Steph Method se segments of this. So, while we're doing the Steph Method stuff, let's see who's here that we can talk to. I don't know who we're talking to, but we have. We have Jemima Hufflepuff. Oh, How are you doing? All right, thank you're you. You're great. Well. That's good to know. We have. We've got JB Havoc from AFI. He looks fucking great, doesn't he? Then Howard Jones has let himself go, though, hasn't he? Oh, shit. And I'm not talking about Killswitch Howard Jones. I'm talking about that guy. I don't have a name for this person. Then they're irrelevant, non-existent. How are you? That's good. Oh no, we. It's Millie Vanilli. Right here. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? And this right here, that's a sandwich. <laughs> that's Kim Jong Un. Oh no! And he's looking great. This right here is the seahorse of gratitude. Yeah, Cleethorpes. Oh, Cleethorpes, the seahorse. <laughs> Anywho, this is this ends the uh, my segment of Billy's wait. vlog. So wait, Cleethorpes. Quinthorpes. Oh, There's crazy. something changing me! <laughs> wow. Goodbye, guys. I'll see you later. Oh shit, yeah, it's fun. Hey Billy, it's me again. So it's the second part of the vlog. Um, I don't really have much content. I've gotten out all my content. Um, so that's Quinton. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, we kind of made a public announcement that Quinton's no longer joining like joining the band anymore. Yeah, joining, yeah, yeah. Um, 
So he's gone. He's gone. But he's he doesn't want to be a part of us. Now we yeah, we obviously we went we went public with it. There's the public announcement that like you know he's 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 a bit he's done. He's a, he's a little bit done. But the real reason is that he just can't handle the girth, and that's the reason why. <laughs> And that's why he's and leaving. And the camera died. <laughs> oh no! Name motherfucker. No, no, he's not Samuel L. Seahorse. Samuel. <laughs> he's oh, he's no, fucking. No, no, no. He's just. Name motherfucker. Name motherfucker. <laughs> and there's Perry just trying to exist. He's like hi. I like to play the drums. I was trying to follow your syllables with them. Oh, oh. Par oh. paradiddle syllables. <laughs> Everybody want to come down to my house and buy a banana. Everybody likes to eat their banana, but apart from people who are allergic to potassium. <laughs> <laughs>
think it looked really good on the hood of my car. Like, imagine how many people we could impale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to range and get my stuff back like a fair range. What the fuck? I'm gonna go and get one of the pink roses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
<laughs> Have you ever heard of the actor Michael Gambon?
Yeah. 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 He got a nice little pez, Danny boy. Happy birthday to Dom. something to you guys sit here and thank you no. for being here tonight because it's a very actually special night we want to say it's a sad day because our brother Quinton is finally calling it quits of fucking Red Method and you know we as brothers and he wants to stand in the stage again with us maybe he will in the future but we know that we will remain brothers for the rest of our lives and we've taken so many fucking turns and twists 
We will still fucking have it. I thank you all for staying here with us all this fucking time. Yeah. Respect. Right, Quinton, what you got to say, brother? <laughs> he doesn't really speak on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say? You fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it blows me away. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone for like, all the support for the last five years. Yeah. 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 You've got a massive puck with us! Yeah, man. <laughs> he does, I've seen it. Yeah, you don't want to sit next to him on the tour bus. Yeah, it, takes right. up, it takes up everything. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to get in the boot. <laughs> Love you, well, bro! One thing I want to say is, there have been some crazy fucking times in the last five or six years, and uh, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for these guys, you know, behind me. These guys. Love you, bro! <laughs> You know you're crying under that mask. This next song's called The Absent. The single is a fucking move.
want to get a picture of our memories with Quinton and our brothers who Dan and fucking Ken for helping us all these years. Much there, fucking safe and respect. Put your hands up. Quinton, come here. Quinton in the middle. Thank you, you guys are fucking awesome, we love you man. It's hard to comprehend because it's been such a fucking massive part of our life. Like, a massive part of our life. Where are you going? It's a bit emotional. Just twice. Shake that ass, baby. What have you got? I found Default the Seahorse. This is our designated adult. Like, she's driving us home. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Aston, Aston's Nick in a fucking speaker or something. It's the lights. Oh, oh. Right, this is the reality of fucking grassroots shows, man. Everyone helps everyone. Everyone loves everyone. Bartek don't know where the fuck he is. Where, where are you now? We're both in Colchester. Colchester? I've never been there before. Should we go check out the castle tomorrow? Okay. They're, they're not drunk. <laughs> not too drunk. Yeah. They're, they're gonna fuck this right up. <laughs> this is the worst roadie crew of all time. <laughs> Look at the fucking state of our crew, man. Oh dear. Hey, 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 mayhem crew. Hey, you people watching on YouTube and MySpace. I got a message for you. You're all fucking brilliant. You thought I was going to say something nasty, like you're all cunts and I hate you and I wish you'd perish in a fire, but no I didn't. I said, I hope you're okay and I wish you well, but, but, but I do, I actually do, I do. It wasn't even a proper venue, Quentin. We didn't even do it at a proper venue. We could have done it at a bloodstock, or a black heart, or a death. But no, we picked this random fucking, where are we? Colchester. Colchester. I have a seat on the um, no. We're on 18 flights of stairs and Steph has a seahorse. I've got a seahorse. It's Cleethorpe's the seahorse. <laughs> Jeremy. Colchester. It weren't bad. Like, it weren't bad.
but how, where are we going? I have no idea. <laughs> like, no none of us have booked anything other than no my car. Like, I put a duvet in a car, and that, like, that's it. That, that's as far as I got. I've got, I'm planning to get a pillow with me as well. So I'm gunking your car. In, 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 in the drone, in the passenger seat. <laughs> It doesn't count. Do it in a glass. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Laura. Ricky. Princess. And yours truly. Versus Bouncer. We've we've watched this series for a long time. Like we've watched Bartek versus Bouncer series for a long time, and they never end well. <laughs> like, our first evening in Colchester has ended in Ricky feeling very poorly. Bartek. Me and Bartek and Actually, no, I'll give right. us a bouncer. Laura doing what Laura does. Right. Listen, our primary focus is getting these two cunts into fashions, which is the only open place now. We have to get in there. And if there's anything that's fashionable, it's up. Ricky's just not to point for about eight points. Ricky's gonna blow. Ricky and Bartek go out for a cigarette. Ricky and Bartek Ricky and Bartek go out for a cigarette. Bartek, Ricky's gonna die. Bartek, stand up. I'm out. I'll wait for you. Roger, you can hurry up. I'm already here. Wait for you. Chill out. Right, we got us all outside. Long. 
No, no, quite just that. Oh, that's what it is. It's just not the robot. Maybe these fucking YouTube people might be wanking off the robot. Let's go. Come on, Ricky. Everybody, oh, Billy Mayhem, oh my god, guys, right, everybody's Billy Mayhem out in the wild, Jesus. Where is Bartek? There he is. The shirt's <laughs> redundant now. <laughs> we, we found our way to this place, fashion, because we are the most fashionable people of all time. And, uh, we're going to go here or there, and the bouncer said that he would let us in here. At seven pound entry for two hours. <laughs> He's uh, drunk uh, as fuck. Oh, no! I'm just like jumping on the park right? like, oh, so like, I'm 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 like,
work and feel. <laughs> <laughs> it was still good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really good. It was good. <sighs> we are dead. Yep. There's a microphone up there. How was it for you? Really fun. The red nurses were really, really good. And the night was good. And then we just stayed out somehow. <laughs> Um, yeah, all Fucking brilliant. Really sad to see Quentin go. Mm. Oh, he's been dealing with us drunk idiots for five, six years. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so very patient. <laughs> yeah, pretty sad to go. Yeah. But hey. Yeah, a lot of the guys seemed really choked up. Mm. It was good that we made a, or that everyone made a bit of an effort to really, yeah, you know, talk to him, make him feel special, make him feel like he's actually gonna be missed. Crying. No. <laughs> Not crying. No, it's sad. Well, sad. <clears throat> My throat is gone. But yeah, we ended up paying for entry into a nightclub last night. Oh shit. Um, <laughs> we went to two clubs after the Red Method gig. Some random's house party who knew some of our friends from London. And he was the nicest guy of all time. <laughs> he, was, he was so nice. Yeah. They were both nice, him and his family. Yeah, I remember that. They were so nice. They were good people. Now we got the long journey home. Does this feel like a uh, morning download? Yeah. I was just thinking that earlier. The sunlight, the crippling, <clears throat> the uncomfortable bed, like the horrible hangover feels all too familiar. If we didn't find them people, the guys wouldn't have had a place to stay. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they booked to go to Colchester. With no afterthought. Bartek was right though, we found an after party. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah. After Party. I was thinking last night that we were all going to have to sleep in this car. And I was like, fuck. I genuinely thought that was going to be a thing. Yeah. Like, it'd be us two in the back and them two in the front. And Laura, there was five of us. Oh, just, and Laura, yeah, yeah for a bit. It's yeah. just like, not going to work. But at least we know we can do car camping. Yeah, this is alright. It weren't bad. Oh, I mean, fine. we'd make a, a few adjustments. Yeah. I might take that seat belt out because I'm never going to use that seat. Yeah, take that seat belt and then we can cuddle. <laughs> so the long journey home. We're probably not going to go straight home. We're going to go to the cafe. Well, well to no, the or three o'clock, so. Oh, oh. oh I'm already Fuck thinking sake. of how to call in sick for work tomorrow. Like, you are? Yeah. I'm not going to be able to work tomorrow. Yeah, I, I was awake yesterday because I went to work before all of this. Yeah. I was awake for a total of about 30 hours. Yeah. After were. doing a day's work where I walked yeah. 12 miles or whatever it was. Yeah, you were crazy. You yeah. were so knackered last night. How do I look? Does I look? Sexy. <laughs> You're in a fucking state of me. Uh, I forgot my baby wipes, which is why I found them like this. How long do we have? 15, oh, 15. Alright, well. Right, well, actually, yeah, it's yeah. just about to run out. Look at the time. I paid a fucking fortune for this car park. I yeah. paid <laughs> like 15 quid. Yeah, 8.50 plus £4. Whatever that is. <laughs> Not so good at that. Drawers look like that. That's Ruby's side where she spilt everything yesterday. I did. <laughs> I saw you. I did a little bit. <laughs> I just got vodka on my lap and it just went all cold. Time to get our shit together. I've got no voice left. And yeah. we're off. Yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> Let's go sit in the services and have another nap. <laughs> this fucking dog. Ruby's in pajamas. <laughs>
this dog yesterday molted so much hair on me. I could have built a little dog. <laughs> I've never seen anyone wear pajamas in a car. Like <laughs> Ruby kit. Got my snacks. All right, we'll see if the car starts. That'll be a good start. No. Good as new. <laughs> if new was horrendously broken. <laughs> you can just go out. What are you going over for? I'll be able to get out. No, right. Well, that's all. Right. You mean? <laughs> right, home time.